Guess what I saw at Dollar Tree? Yes, they have mirrored frames. Can you believe it? I wanted to come on here and show you what I'm going to do with my frames. All you will need is five frames for this particular project. And I'm going to do some wall decor um, where you can easily put it up on the wall and use command strips. Uh, that way you don't have to put any holes in your walls if you're renting or even if you own a home and you're like indecisive about where you like to place things or you like to change it up from time to time, you might wanna put command strips back there and not put holes in your walls. So the first thing that you wanna do is to remove the contents from the frame. In my case, I'm not gonna use anything on the inside, but I will reuse the items uh, for something else in another project. And then you're left with a frame with some tabs and you don't need the tabs. So I'm just gonna use my um, pliers and just remove that out. This frame seems to be very durable and it's not as easy to get these tabs out. As you can see. So you kinda have to wiggle it out. That seems to work when you wiggle it out. The next step that I'm going to do is figure out how I want to position the frames. And there are so many ways you can do this. Um, pretty much, I wouldn't say any way you do it will look nice, but most ways <laughs> will. It's a pretty frame. How can it not be so nice, right? Uh, for me, I want to make something very different than what I've seen. Um, I want something a little bit odd shaped. So I have thought about this long and hard, even while I'm sleeping. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I'm going to do something. It's very simple, but it did not just come to mind. So what I'm gonna do is take one of my frames and place it vertical and then take another frame and place it horizontal on top, right? And line it up. And then next I'm going to take another frame and place it horizontal against this frame. And then I'm gonna do that again, place it vertical and place it up here. And I'm going to place the last one on top, but horizontally. So that's how I want to position my frames. But there's so many different ways you can do it. And you could keep the contents in there and put you know, photos in there or do it like I'm doing. And then at the center, you can put a photo in there or some artwork that you've done. It's so many ways. All right, so now we have the design that we want. I would suggest taking a picture of your design and kind of like sitting on it, do it different ways, maybe four different ways. And then just uh, take pictures on your phone and look at it and see which one is the best one. I decided to hot glue it as well as uh, use E6000. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the top frame. And I'm gonna start by gluing these two pieces together. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of E6000 uh, in the middle and then hot glue on the outer part of it. All right, so I'm going to add E6000 and here is what E6000 looks like if you have never used it. And it gives a permanent hold to whatever you um, glue together. And this may get a little bit messy. I'm just gonna add a little bit. in the center. I'm gonna place some E6, no. Then I'm gonna place hot glue on the outer. Ooh, I'm gonna clean that up. And then just press it. 
Look at that. Made a big old mess. Just press it together. Okay. I don't know why I started singing, but anywho. Press it together for a little bit. We're gonna repeat the same process, but this time it's going vertical. Press it, make sure it's lined up. For the last one, I put the glue on here as opposed to here because it doesn't, I don't wanna put glue where it doesn't need to be. So I'm just going to press it together. And you know I made a mistake. So I'm gonna fix it, but what I should have done, and I'm gonna have to do this again anyway. So I have two other um, pieces that I'm gonna do. So what I should have done was put glue on this one as well as glue on the top part of this one. But I didn't do that. So what I'm gonna do is glue it on the back end. Adding the top one is gonna be a little tricky. The reason why I say it's gonna be tricky is because it's gonna be hard to figure out where to put the glue um, so that it's not exposed. So my workaround is to use one of the um, sheets that come in the inside of it. And what I'm gonna do is just place it where I want it. I'm gonna remove the frame and place it in the center. You know what, actually the glass will be better so you can see through it. It's not gonna be perfect, but, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna hold it and then I'm gonna place hot glue on the top of the where the glass is. Then I'm gonna remove the glass and then place the frame on top. And I hope it's straight. You wanna wait and let the glue dry. Now we just put this together and I'm I'm gonna show you how lightweight it is. I can pick it up in the front. So I wanna show you guys, I flipped it on the back side. Um, to reinforce it, you can put hot glue in the back. It can get messy, but nobody's gonna notice, so don't worry about it. For me, I'm going to use command strips to hang it on the wall. Uh, when you do go and look at command strips in the store, make sure you check how much weight it holds. This is a pretty lightweight object, so 12 pounds should be sufficient. And this is what it looks like up close, so you'll need to, if you're not familiar with command strips, you'll need to use two command strips first, so you just tear them apart. If you notice, there's a kind of like a Velcro side, and then there's a sticky side. What you first wanna do is uh, make a sandwich putting the velcro sides together then we pull the tape off of one side of it and then I'm just gonna place it right here so I'm gonna do another one right here and one right here okay now I have it on so I'm not ready to hang it but when I am I just peel off this top top layer right here of tape and then just press it against the wall and this is what it looks like on the wall. Ain't it cute? It's just gorgeous. Now if only they can make these frames in a larger size, uh, that would be great. But these sizes work. You can make it as big or as small as you would like. So this is just a close up. You can see the reflection. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you check out all of my videos and hit that subscribe button. If you like what I did, hit the like button too and share it with everyone. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, please be sure to stop by and say hello. I'm at Designs by Trisha on Instagram and at I'm Trisha J A on Facebook.